That is sure some good news, Dale. Thank you so much. Now, our Chris has been following the storm throughout the coastal band as she is over at Marina del Sol Apartments where Hannah caused significant damage to the harbor there. Katia, what can you see? What can you tell us right now? It did, and I have some great news to report right now, Javi. The three people that were stranded in their boats have been rescued tonight. That is wonderful news to hear. Let me step out of the way so that you can see what crews were dealing with. I mean, I don't know if you can really see much, but there's a boat that we've literally seen while we've been here sink in the bay. Several boats are taking water. These are remnants of the private harbor that was here at Marina del Sol condominiums. And just some fantastic news. I had a chance to talk to Chief Robert Rocha literally just a few minutes ago and he was able to confirm for me that the Texas Task Force One which is out of College Station they were able to work with our Corpus Christi Fire Department to make this rescue tonight. Three people again were uh, were on boats here at the marina during the landfall of Hurricane Hannah and they were stranded and uh, again uh, Texas Task Force One was able to make that rescue just within the last couple of minutes. Um, they say that uh, uh, rescues like these are technical in nature and just the complexity of it because obviously we're in the middle of a hurricane. It was really difficult to do. But again, fantastic news here from Marina del Sol reporting live. Katia Arte, back to you, Javi. All right, Katia, stay safe out there. Thank you so much.